You'd like to see a clean operation when you're going up against a team that you know from a talent standpoint is inferior. The Tennessee Titans have 22 players on IR. They rested several starters Dang. on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. They're on their third starting quarterback. Yeah. This is an opportunity for you to make a statement about the brand of ball you want to play. It's not necessarily about the opponent. It's about you taking care of your business. And when you don't have a clean operation and you get bailed out by the drops by the Tennessee Titans receivers and the 10 penalties for 124 yards, it's not exactly how you draw it up in terms of trying to win a game, especially on a short week on the road. Looking at Dak Prescott, 14 turnovers in the last nine games. Not that good. ain't it, bro. No. That's not it. You're one and three in the playoffs Thank and you me. had three interceptions in the postseason. That's something that we got to continue to watch because that's going to be a problem. I think R RC has something yeah. to say here. The Let's Cowboys see. say they don't care about <laughs> style points. These guys clearly do. Where do you come down on this? Bro, what is wrong with y'all? Like, the, the Dallas Cowboys Just are the questions. quarterbacks Just... of the entire NFL, right? They, 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 they get all this credit when they have a, a, a huge win. And we're like, oh, right. Dallas is going to go to the Super Bowl. And FPI has them number one. And all the analytics lead to a Super Bowl. And then they win a game against a football team that the last time I checked has all NFL players on it. I do get it. It's not the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry. And all of these things and all of these people are resting. But you got to go out and win football games and if the Dallas Cowboys start this season and we say at week 16 they're 12 and 4 football team they're a playoff football team they have an opportunity still to fight to win the NFC East we're saying that's a great season but oh they didn't play well in Tennessee and they didn't beat them by enough points and oh now we're going to be all nervous and scared and we're going to say the Cowboys aren't a team that can win the NFC but yes they are the Dallas Cowboys are still a top three team in the entire conference the Dallas Cowboys are a team that played the biggest game of their season in the prime time or at 4 o'clock on Sunday. Had to get on a plane and go to Tennessee on Thursday. Had to get up for a game where they knew they weren't playing against anybody. All of those things are difficult. We have now become get up stars and we say we forget what it's like to play on Thursday night. We forget what it's like to play an inferior team. We forget what it's like to come off of a week when we had a very tough game. A game we had to be at an emotional high we find a way to win and then we're playing a team that's not even trying to win the game but we still win and then people still get upset with us what the hell's going on guys i get it we're judging them on whether or not this is the team that can win in the playoffs this team could be the philadelphia this team could be the san francisco this team could be the tampa bay this team could be the minnesota how do we know because they already beat two of them and they beat the brakes off of one of them in their place do I think the Dallas Cowboys have flaws? Absolutely. Am I panicking because they didn't beat this team like the 95-96 Nebraska Tommy Frazier team beat everybody? Hell no. Dallas Cowboys did what they had to do. They took care of business. Now they move on to next week. But, R.C., the conversation ain't about the Dallas Cowboys being able to put it together for one game. The conversation is about the Dallas Cowboys being able to put it together for successive right. exactly. games and get to Against the Super Bowl. Teams. That's what it's all about. And you're saying they're a top three team in the NFC. That ain't what they record say. They're not, they don't have a better record than the Eagles. They don't have a better record than the Vikings. They don't have a better record than the 49ers. Right now, as it stands, they're likely going yes, to be. Yes, they do. Yes, they do have a better the, record than the 49ers, Chris do. Canty. Yes, they do. Right, here we go. They here do we have go. a better record than the 49ers. They do. Because the 49ers You're loud and wrong. But, all right, but, uh, uh, right, the semantics the 49, the 49ers are going to win their division. The 49ers are going to host a home playoff <laughs> game. That's the whole point. The Dallas Cowboys are going to be the fifth seed at best in the NFC. So they're going on the road. I just wanted to get you fired three, up. They're going on the road for three straight weeks in the playoffs against really good teams. Can they win those yes, games? That's Based on all of the turnovers that we're seeing from Dak Prescott in this offense, I don't think they can. And that's the litmus test. That's the standard that we're going to judge the Dallas Cowboys by. I, I, sorry, I had to laugh a little bit. RC I do not disagree. He was angry. RC was mad. Come yeah. on. It was, it was just ahead Christmas. Let's be I excited here. It's almost a <laughs> new mad. year. But first Look of all, I'm not nervous or scared. scared. I haven't even played this I'm week. not nervous or scared, RC. I ain't, I ain't nervous or scared. But the only, only one way to settle this, we might have to, you know, put a little wager on it. Oh. RC so confident in oh. the Cowboys <laughs> going into the playoffs. We ain't putting no real yeah. money on let's the put Dallas the, Cowboys. We ain't putting no real money on the Super Bowl. Let's put some gold on it. This is not daily wager. We're not talking about that. What are we doing? I, I want to know. <laughs> look, anybody can look at the standings, yeah. and anybody can see that they're 12 and 5. I mean, like, like the, what we do here is, is what do you see 
And I'm looking at the Cowboys two weeks from now, three weeks from now, four weeks from now. What kind of team are they going to be? Dak Prescott is leading the league in interceptions, and he missed five games. How concerned are you that this is, RC, that this is not the kind of team that can string together three or four playoff wins? I think I think what you're asking me, can this team string together three or four playoff wins? If we get the Dak Prescott that we saw against the Philadelphia Eagles and even including the pick six, can that quarterback win three games on the road? Hell yes. If we look at what this defense is at its best when Demarcus Lawrence and Michael Parsons are playing at a high level, when that three safety package is playing the way that we've seen them play throughout the year with Donovan Wilson, Malik Hooker, and J. Ron Kirst, when we find when, when uh, Leighton Van Der Esch is healthy, when Trayvon Diggs, instead of dropping the pick six, catches the pick six, which we've seen him do 90% of his career. If that team plays at that level, that team can beat anybody in the NFL. I am concerned about the Dak Prescott interceptions, but I'm also smart enough to see where the Dak Prescott interceptions come from. I'm smart enough to see that when the ball hits Noah Brown right in the five and it bounces into Rayshon Jenkins' hands for a pick six to end the game against Jacksonville, that that ain't Dak Prescott. I'm smart enough to see yesterday when a tight end misses the ball three times in a row and it bounces into Kevin Byers' hands, that that's not Dak, Pre Dak Prescott. And so we have to be able to watch the game objectively and understand what some of these things are that are happening to Dak Prescott. As but, a team, well, they need but, to be but, more sound. As a team they need to be more disciplined but this team has everything it needs to win now the question is this do I pick them right now if Jalen Hurts is healthy? No, I don't. I think the Philadelphia Eagles are the best team in the NFC. I think it's a very close game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. With all that said, you just need that puncher's chance. And right. the Dallas Cowboys, to me, have a top three chance to get to the Super Bowl. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.